We're back. It's still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. And of course, as said for first major conversation, or have you seen the few queues around uh, maybe in your city? Uh, for those of us in Lagos, we're experiencing it. And it's affecting not just uh, the price of um, the petrol and the price of transportation, also affecting the flow of traffic. Well, petrol scarcity uh, hit different parts of Nigeria um, on Tuesday, forcing motorists to spend hours on hours at filling stations while battling to get the product. Uh, black marketers are also having a field day. You know, some are selling a liter of petrol at uh, between 300 to 400 naira in many parts of the country. See, I think that's what they do when it gets to this time of scarcity. Now, many motorists, you know, have been forced to patronize these black marketers um, as the unpalatable alternative was to wait for hours in a queue at filling stations. I made long queues and waiting for hours in Lagos. Some filling stations uh, sold a liter of premium motor spirit we're hearing for as much as 200 naira per liter as against the approved price of um, 180 to 185 naira uh, to the liter. Now, transportation costs have also, like I said earlier, gone up in response to the fuel scarcity in parts of the country. Petrol marketers in response to the situation have said that uh, there has been a low petrol supply by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company uh, uh, Limited, is what they're saying. Um, for some years now, the NNPC has been the sole importer of petroleum products into the country. What exactly is going on? I'm glad to say we have joining us to discuss this current fuel scarcity. One of those marketers, he happens to be the National Public Relations Officer of the Independent National Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Chief Chinedu Ukadike, nice to have you on the breakfast this morning. Yeah, thank you very much and uh, good morning, Piers. Let's hit the let's just see, let's hit the bull uh, uh, in the eye. What is going on? Why are we having the queues returning to our filling stations? Well, there are two factors. One is secondary, uh, while the other one is primary. The the, the primary aspect of uh, the first scarcity in Nigeria is that uh, our refineries are not uh, they are not refining. Uh, for the past uh, two years or three years now, they have been obsolete, and uh, they are currently undergoing turnaround maintenance, uh, according to the minister uh, who promised us uh, some few, a few months ago or a few years ago when he resumed office that uh, the refinery will be revamped, and uh, the refinery even before the end of uh, uh, March, April, will uh, be like seventy percent of. Uh, uh, petroleum products, but all this we are still heavily dependent on uh, importation of petroleum products from outside the country, and whatever is, is the uh, external influence of importation will definitely uh, affect the domestic price of petroleum products in Nigeria. So that is the, the problem we are facing. One is secondary, the other one is primary. The other one, the primary aspect of it is that we are now importing petroleum products from different uh, foreign countries. And that uh, made Nigeria now dependent on petroleum products. So whatever the international market states, whatever the dollar strength is, that is what we will convert it to in, uh, in Naira. Although the federal government says they are subsidizing the uh, 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 importation of petroleum products, uh, and the billions of Naira and billions of uh, dollars are being used to subsidize petroleum products. So how long? That is a social refinance. The birds cannot longer hold. Uh, the, uh, so many men are uh, chasing a uh, few dollars. It's really affecting the market. Hmm. All right. So you, just to get you right, uh, what you're saying, uh, Chief uh, Ukadike, is that the normal thing, which we've been having for years, it's the same thing. Even when there was, even we even even when the fuel was still was was available and we're buying at a regular price from you guys, um, the the marketers, uh, you're saying that that is what is causing the scarcity right now, that the refineries are not working and Nigeria is importing. But the refineries are not working. Last week, last month, we had fuel. Yes, that, that is what I'm saying. Since we are heavily dependent on importation of petroleum products. 
whatever that is the lapses or whatever that truncates the uh, supply chain from the international community will definitely affect Nigeria. We, uh, we are definitely aware that uh, for a very long time now, for like almost uh, uh, two, three months, marketers who have paid through PFI uh, their products to be supplied by NMPC have not gotten it because there is no other vessel to take from. Uh, they, are, they have hired their data vessel for a very long time. They are just waiting for NMPC to go to give them go ahead or schedule them to load. Those who are placed in June, July, August, they are still on queue. And these are uh, tank farms. Um, some of these tank farms have been obsolete. They have been idle for some time. Although I'm not going to speak uh, for for depot owners, but I also want to tell you that reliably that some of these depot owners have stayed since July, August, September. They have not gotten uh, product. Is it not when they get product and send it to their to their to their depots, which are located around the river line, that we cannot go with our products to go and buy? That is why you see. From the dry aspect of uh, the dry side of uh, Nigeria, which is the northern, uh, northern uh, part of this country, they are almost driving towards the uh, western and the southern uh, uh, part of the country to go and collect uh, petroleum products. Because those that's only where these uh, uh, PDOs, uh, private depot owners, can be able to pick their tax farm so that they can be feeded from the vessels. The pipelines are no longer working. They are, we have lost our pipelines. So you cannot be able to pump a zone product through the pipeline. So you see that the, the chain of distribution is becoming more tougher, thicker, heavier, and even unresolvable. Because uh, the, the country was designed that after the final finished refining through their system, that products will be sent to the north without even trucking. So that marketers or transporters can be able to, within their depot locality there, take petroleum products within uh, two or three hours, they are in the station of destination. Now in Lagos, you see dreadlocks of uh, uh, um, uh, tanker drivers moving from Lagos to Kaduna, Kano, Abuja. And they cut off in local jail. Some of them spend four or five days, six days, before they flood with some time. Some of them use alternative routes. Those alternative routes cost marketers a huge amount of money to be able to ensure that their products and the business and their equipment is safe. So, so, so you that is, that variables that are causing some of this uh, uh, little uh, thrift in the in the chain of distribution. So you you're saying that the NMPC has failed to uh, supply the the market. Yes, they 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 they, 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 they slack from the sufficient period because the NMPC normally have two to three months sufficient period so that if there is any little uh, uh, delay in chain of distribution. They, are, they will use those products in the sufficient the period to be able to mark up the market until they get supply. All right. This time around, it's in a look at them. And uh, you see how Nigeria is heavily uh, dependent on uh, uh, powering both vehicles, generators, and uh, petroleum products. So there, 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 there is nothing they can do. It has to show. By, by, by so doing that there are generators, there is no repair, everything that is driven is fair. This economy is almost fair driven. All right. Uh, um, when we look at the supply chain, um, you, like you've just said, you don't wait for the product to get finished before you make an order for, uh, for, for fresh stock. You actually make the order even when the product yeah. is at halfway stage before it gets finished. Um, which is what you're saying that this, 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 these people pay for the thing before it comes. So why is the NMPC unable to fulfill its obligations or duty as so officially the sole importer of uh, the product? Um, is there a reason for this? Well, because uh, this product is being subsidized and the uh, uh, government is trying to, as much as possible, uh, not to allow uh, corruption to be driven this uh, exercise, and that is why government is doing the same by themselves, for themselves, and for the people of Nigeria. Because uh, when they were doing uh, 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 lease back, uh, could buy back, and all the rest of them, there were a lot of corruption. And the uh, NPC uh, and government have decided that uh, they will be so important, they will give contracts to uh, importers to bring this product for them so that they can be able to uh, you know, streamline the extent of. Uh, uh, dollar in the international market. 
so that uh, those who are doing this will not profit uh, only the, from exchange of dollar too. So uh, MPC is just trying to be very, very careful on how they manage their resources and how they manage their transactions. Okay, but... It's only yeah. uh, diesel and kerosene that um, was liberated that anybody who feels they can be able to import can go and import, you understand, me, on the private market. So, and most of them are finding it so difficult because passing dollar from CPN is becoming a very, very difficult. So, operating it after sales also is another big problem. So, you may find that the business of importation of petroleum products in Nigeria can be easily done by NMPC management and the federal government themselves uh, because of the intricacies of uh, this force transfer uh, therein. Hmm. So, so, so ha having said, you know, given us the reason why uh, the federal government decided to make the NMPCL the sole importer, I want you to tell us why is the NMPC unable to supply stock? Well, look, you know, the ammunition we experienced in last case, they were also telling us that the, 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 the uh, problem in Ukraine, the war in Ukraine affected the international trade zone and uh, affected delayed some of the ships that uh, were supposed to be okay, battered in the bed. They have paid for about 10 vessels and they couldn't come. The other period of time, we also have this excuse uh, that we imported um, excessive ethanol in the market and thereby their importers failed them by bringing in products that are not satisfactory or are not satisfied to the PMS. And uh, that one, Nigerians also suffered it. A lot of vehicles uh, were, were, but nobody else in us, I'm talking to you, has been held responsible for uh, those actions, uh, actions and inactions. And uh, today, again, uh, we're also hearing that uh, because of the lack of mother vessel, that uh, products cannot be able to be uh, found in the, some of the private tank farms. At the end of the day, Nigerians will still suffer it. A lot of uh, opportunities and profiteering uh, uh, merchants have also taken these little opportunities to smile to the bank. So, you see, that's a country where people don't take uh, responsibilities. So, I will not be able to sit down here to say that uh, uh, this is the cost, or either maybe because some of uh, NMPC is heavily impacted to the importance, maybe the importance now decided not to continue to uh, supply them. So uh, I, I cannot authoritatively say that because I'm not part of that process. But sometimes we speculate mm. as uh, marketers. So you're saying probably it could be a, an issue of cash flow that has affected yeah. uh, has affected yeah. the, the fuel flow. Um, yes, transaction exchange, yes. All right. Maybe government is broke and can't pay for, for the fuel. I will not, uh, I will not uh, primarily agree on that. Our also government is broke, but I also know that, that there is a hiccup in transaction flow. And maybe, I don't know who is knowing each other. Uh, I don't know where, where, what the transaction is all about. But we know that the mother vessels uh, that women used to come before, uh, to sustain the sufficiency period of NMPC is not that it's not really that to be found. Market also have paid in June, July, and uh, getting to August, October. We have not gotten uh, their product. It's just recently that we uh, I read on the news today that um, NMPC has released 166 trucks to Lagos. It's unimaginable. 166 trucks to Lagos. So what happened to other sorts of uh, the nation that feed from Lagos? Because I know even Potakot here, feet from Lagos. Kanu, Kaduna, Gumbo, all of them, they feed from Lagos. So is that one hour for six trucks? We for those Lagos metropolis, you know, or for those who come to Lagos to come and take product from Lagos. Because uh, our papa is where we have the various uh, tank farms situated. And most marketers, just to preach this essence of scarcity, uh, via PEF. Drive from uh, Potagon, drive from Kumbe, drive from Mila, drive from Mandamu, uh, all parts of the country to go to Lagos to go and buy these products and come and sell in their filling station in various zones. So, also, some people also go to Warren, Calabar, deliver and um, uh, PDUs to buy uh, petroleum products. Hmm. So, when uh, I don't see what is news that uh, uh, LNPC has released one round for six trucks of uh, PMS for Lagos. Is is uh, is uh, uh, that means we are expecting a worse situation. Last month, the uh, NMPC Limited 
came out to tell Nigerians. <laughs> they came out to say that the, the country will not experience petrol scarcity in December and beyond. You know, if they say December and beyond, I would take it that they are even saying, no, we're not even talking about October, November, because that one is not even, it's not even an issue. But, of course, we're used to the perennial, uh, or we were used to the perennial Ember month, especially December scarcity. Uh, and they said, this was through the uh, chief financial officer, um, Ms. Omar Ajia, Umar Ajia, uh, you know, said in Abuja last month that um, uh, they have arrangements to ensure educate supply for December and beyond. This was when they appeared before an ad hoc committee of the House of Representatives on fuel subsidy regime in Nigeria. Um, what are your thoughts on, on the, the words and what the NMPC is saying to the public, to the National Assembly, to the media, to even you guys in the industry, and what the real situation is on ground like we are seeing play out now? Yeah, I think uh, there is a lot of reorganization in the NMPC PPMC. Uh, you are aware uh, that uh, recently that NMPC was incorporated as a limited liability company, and uh, they are also uh, going to buy infestation, rebranding, re-strategizing. I also see that these are some of the administrative bottlenecks that have caused this uh, uh, little scarcity uh, that we are just experiencing now, just because maybe there is a new management on boards, there is new policies, there is new innovations, there are new checks and balances, and all the rest of them. And, we, and there are kind of information in the NMPC uh, management uh, reshuffle, and uh, some of the top managers of NMPC as they have been removed or transferred just because of uh, this new restructuring of the NMPC and making it incorporated. Uh, so that there will be profit or rental. So I also, also, also believe that uh, that speech was made when the NMPC was not incorporated. And uh, now that the NMPC has been incorporated, I think a lot of things need to be changed and they also need to reaffirm. Because I also believe that uh, this uh, reinvigorated NMPC uh, with the rebranded NMPC with the rebranded logo will be able to give Nigerian uh, uh, rebranded uh, uh, delivery of petroleum products and uh, see to me that Nigeria does not suffer like this. So I will not uh, be able to rule deliciously on uh, a statement that was made when an NPC was not rebranded, when an NPC was not remodified, when an NPC was not a limited liability company. Now there is a limited liability company, we are expecting policy statements from them, we are expecting uh, integration. We are expecting uh, trans, uh, trans you know, the transfiguration of uh, the entire system to be able to give Nigeria uh, uh, better service. Uh, Chief Fukadike, how much are you selling petrol per litre and your colleagues in your part of the country today? Uh, yeah, in Port Harcourt, uh, like uh, I just bought this morning and I'm also in my petrol system, we are selling 185 naira. The, the range is between 185 and 190. Okay, and so like I told you, we are almost buying at uh, 183 Naira, 185 Naira from uh, available tank farms who are not, some of them are not even willing to sell. But we, we source because we, are, we don't have that mandate to force them to sell. So if you go to any tank farm and they're able to say that I sell it, well, you have to put the money in business. You need to buy and put a little bit much and uh, they're able to continue to. Uh, serve the country because I want to be able to say and tell you that the independent marketing business is no longer lucrative. Uh, but because we are service oriented, we are almost like medical doctors. Because we are service oriented, uh, we will continue to operate our affiliation, even sometimes at a loss. Uh, so, so you're saying your, your members are selling as high as 199 in Port Harcourt? Uh, in places like yes, uh, it's not it's not it's not high. It depends on what we buy. Okay. We put a little margin. Uh, even our margins are regulated by federal government. Okay, Ch Ch Chief, I'm, I'm I'm going somewhere. So in places like uh, Ada George, where you have a lot of petrol stations, in places like East West Road, uh, Abao Road, in places like Wadago Township, uh, Artillery, you are all selling at 190. And you are saying yes. this because you're buying it at 183. Ordinarily, yes, if we. 185. What is the 
um, profit margin you normally would would have? How much were you we were getting? Normally, we normally have a stipulated by X the, X the poor price. Yes. Since two thousand since since uh, nineteen ninety ninety eight eight. And then Prisa has never given him better magic market has uh, margin more than ten naira or eleven naira. So so this so this year, this year, this year, sorry chief, this year, what has the ex depo price been? Normally. Now, normally. As, I, as, I, as, I'm, as I'm talking to you now, we are buying from the private depot 184 naira, 185. No, no, no. I, I'm saying I'm saying you said you buy between 183, 185. But this year, before now, normally what should the ex depo price be? Okay, the S S depo price supposed to be one sixty four. PPMC S S S depo price supposed to be one sixty seven point five. But okay. uh, I, um, later this year, we started by one seventy one seventy five point something. Okay. Because I'm talking to you that Lagos is selling at one seventy seven point five. Okay, so if you if you so it means that you're making just about if you're buying at one eighty three and selling at one ninety. Though I hear in some parts of Port Harcourt they're selling at two hundred. Um, uh, you know, I have my, my sources. Um, I hear some parts of Padago they're selling as much as 200, 210. Uh, you means you're making just about seven naira profit gain. Uh, yes, uh, because you guys want to remain in business, you uh, have even enough. Just because you want to, because only uh, a drone of diesel to power your 35, 40 kV of uh, generator is almost over something thousand. Mm. So, so you pay your staff, you pay uh, 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 agency fees, and all the rest of them. We are not even making anything. So, so for your yeah, me your, your we, members who are who are your members who are money. selling independent marketers make money when products are available, not when they are scarce. So, your your, your members who are selling at two hundred and two ten in Port Harcourt, what will you do to them? No, like uh, you see, sometimes uh, I will not agree with you. But our members are selling uh, up to 200 naira per liter because I also live in Potato. I've driven around this morning. I've not seen any filling station that their price is 200. The least I have seen is 190. Well, but I also want to also let you know that for eventually you see that you might you might you might be a top tier marketer because some marketers might not be able to go to the tank farm to go and dump that huge amount of money. To uh, I dump almost 10 million naira to make uh, 200,000 naira. No business thrives like that in this country. All right. No business thrives like that. Even if you cannot be able to invest 10 million naira with all this kind of risk, and you make 300,000 or 200,000 naira after one month. Okay. There's no business at all. All right. All right. So uh, we, we enjoy when, the, when, when there is a, a free flow of petroleum products at the depot. We cannot do turnover. Now, if you say finish selling this one, before you get another one, you will need to long queue and wait and uh, service your equipment and all the rest of them before you start again. Okay, okay. Chief Fichiridu Kadike, we'll, we'll have to leave it at that. I wish uh, we had more time so we could, you know, really go into why the depot owners uh, are, are increasing their costs when they didn't buy higher from NMPC. They had old stock, you know, should they be increasing what they are charging from you? But we have to leave it at that. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. I'm always there to provide uh, uh, concrete and uh, valuable information. All right, all right. Um, Chief Chiridu Kadike is the National Publicity Secretary, Public Relations Officer, rather, of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. We'll be right back with more discussions on the breakfast. Stay with us.